Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to do a clean install of OSX Mavericks using a USB key. Alright guys, so um, we'll just take a quick look at this Mac here. Um, I'll just show you the uh, about this Mac. Okay, so there's the OS version and uh, there's a build version. And also if we go into more info, all right, and you can see the hardware specs of the Mac that we've got here. And as you can see, it's a 13 inch mid 2010 Mac. Okay, so the first thing you guys will need to do is actually create yourself one of these uh, install uh, USB disks um, or thumb drives, flash drives, whatever you want to call them. You can do that by going to the 123MyT website. And there's a video on there that will show you how to do it. Let's bring that up real quick and show you. Now it's on the first page, but because it's quite quite a new video, but um, if you wanted to find it, you could type in Mavericks in the search bar up the top and then press enter. Okay. And then scroll down and you'll see how to upgrade OSX Mountain Lion to Mavericks, which is the latest video that I did. Uh, however, what the one that we want is how to create a bootable OSX Mavericks USB drive. Okay, so this will step you through how to create. Um, this video will step you through how to create this install um, install USB drive. So go through and and follow that one, guys. Now the the uh, the um, USB drive size that I'm using is a 16 gig size. Um, I believe you can get away with an 8 gig. Yep, as you can see here, you can get away with an 8 gig US, USB drive or SD card. However, uh, it's probably safer just to go out and buy, um, especially if you're going to use you know, the USB to install quite a few machines. Um, just go out and buy yourself a, a USB drive, and then you've always got it then. All right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is um, the USB drive is obviously in the machine. Um, I'm going to do a shutdown and restart and while it's restarting I'm going to hold down the option key on, on the Mac the alt or option key and it's going to restart okay guys so I've got the USB in the side of the Mac I've uh, restarted the Mac and I've held down the alt or option key okay and uh, when it's restarting and you're holding down the alt option key it will actually bring you into this menu here Okay, so what we want to do is scroll across to our USB. You can tell that it's the USB because of the uh, USB symbol on top of the drive. And it should also say EFI boot. And once we're on that, we just want to hit enter or return on your keyboard. Okay guys, so you should get this OSX utilities menu here. And what we want to do is go into the OSX, uh, install OSX menu and then hit continue. Alright, we want to hit continue again and then agree. We want to agree again. Alright, now it says select the disk where you want to install OSX, so we want to install it on our Mac HD. Um, if you've got two disks here, so this one here is the uh, boot camp disk which runs Windows 7 or Windows 8 um, and this uh, disk here is our uh, OSX Mac hard drive so we're going to select that one and then go install and that will go and go ahead now and install on uh, on this hard drive here I'm just gonna go cancel for a second and go uh, quit alright and if we want to do a clean install, which we want to, uh, you know, wipe anything that's on the existing hard drive, and we just want to do a fresh install of OSX Mavericks and nothing else, we want to go down to Disk Utility, and then click Continue. Okay, and then we want to click on the Mac HD, and just go Erase. All right, set as Mac OS Extended Journaled. We want to call it Mac HD and just leave it at that. And we want to erase everything on this drive. I'm going to go erase again. All right. So this is cleaning everything off the old hard drive. So any of the old files will be gone. 
So just make sure that uh, you do a backup before you do this step. And once that's been erased, then we can close this one, go back to install, and install OSX as we did before. So agree, agree, select our hard drive, and install. Alright, so that will now go ahead and install, and may take about half an hour to do that depending on the speed of your Mac. Okay, so it says preparing to install, your computer will restart automatically, and then it says about a minute remaining now. Okay, so we've come up to our install OS X screen there, and it says installing OS X on the disk Mac HD, which is the one that we just formatted before and cleared everything off, and it says time remaining about 24 minutes, so we'll just let that go through and come back to it shortly. Okay guys, so there's about a le less than a minute remaining now. Go down and click on restart. Okay, and now we've got the welcome screen, so just select your country and then hit continue. Select your keyboard layout and hit continue. You can add it to the uh, Wi-Fi if you've got a Wi-Fi handy. And then hit continue. You can actually you know, opt to transfer some information to your Mac, so if you're going uh, from a Mac Time Machine backup or startup disk, or if you're going from a Windows PC, I'm just going to hit don't transfer any information now because there's nothing that I want to copy. Uh, we just want to do on here we just go don't sign in on the Apple ID at this stage. So we want to skip it. We want to agree to the terms and conditions and then agree again. Put in the full name, so 123myit. And it will just give us our account name. Require password to unlock screen, so we'll just put in 123, 123, 123. You can leave all these ticks. Uh, maybe send diagnostics uh, and usage data back to Apple. Take that out if you want. We can just set set uh, time zone based on current location, and that's it. Just hit continue. Okay, so obviously thinks that our password's too short. So if we do 123123. Three. Alright, we don't want to register at this stage, so we just hit don't register and continue and then skip. Okay, now we've got a setting up your Mac menu. Okay, and there we have it. So we have the familiar Mavericks uh, background with the uh, wave, the blue wave there. And if we just go in here and go to Apple, give it a second to boot and go Apple and then about this Mac and you can see our version is 10.9 but all our icons are gone now so this has been uh, totally clean in store and uh, that's pretty much it guys so um, what, we'll, what I'll do in a, in a future video is uh, how to um, uh, install Windows 8 uh, when you're running Mavericks, I've only ever done a tutorial on uh, OSX Mountain Lion, not Mavericks. So I want to see if we can set up Windows 8.1 uh, to run on this Mavericks machine. And that's pretty much it. This is how you do a clean install of OSX Mavericks with a USB flash drive or thumb drive. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Um, if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any feedback, please leave it on the website. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.